Hi, I'm Travis Tomasi, National World Champion and Professional Shooter for Para USA. Well, really to become a good shooter, you need to not only work on the fundamentals, uh, such as your grip and your stance and your trigger control, but you need to spend a lot of time dry firing. Dry firing is like homework. We're going to the range and actually spending real ammo is the test. We're going to a match, that's the test. You need to dry fire your techniques. And I don't just mean by dropping the hammer on an empty chamber. I mean working on your draws, your reloads, your movement. Dry fire is key. Today we're here with Travis Tomasi, world champion shooter for Para. And Travis, today we want to talk about why 1911s do not suck. Awesome. I love that topic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so there are all these guys out there, guys and gals, who've bought lots of polymer guns, and that's cool, yeah. and I shoot them and love them too. But I think now it's time, if you have three or four of those guns, they're kind of similar, it's time to think about maybe a 1911. I wanted to talk about why would someone want a 1911. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first of all, uh, I mean, a polymer gun is a, is a great way to get started uh, in, in, in any type of shooting that you might want to do. But the 1911 really takes it, takes your marksmanship and your shooting to the next level. Uh, you know, this design has been around for 102 years and it's proven. It still wins in competitions. It still dominates the, the, the entire globe. Heck, so, it's still used in the military. Exactly. It still is. That's right. So, which, which proves its, its superiority in, that, in those types of conditions. So when we talk about the 1911, for those who are maybe new to it or whatever, um, this is a 1911. Some people call it a 45 auto, um, but the 1911 is the general style that John Browning designed uh, back 102 years ago. So a 1911, what you're going to notice is most of them are going to be steel guns, right? Exactly. So they're going to be a little heavier. Um, but some of the nice, nice features on it, probably the first thing that comes to mind is the trigger. Right? Absolutely. Single action trigger. So it's going to be a very sh uh, short take up and a short reset. That's right. Very short, uh, very short take up, very short, firm, quick reset. Uh, allows you to actually speed up your shooting. Mm -hmm. It also it's a lighter trigger pull. And it really is one of the reasons why it's really tough to beat that design. The trigger is uh, phenomenal. Right. Yeah. Which lets you be more accurate, lets you shoot faster. Bingo. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, the other thing we were talking about is how customizable the 1911 is. Now, you have your, your yes. uh, competition rig here. That's Ta right. Talk about what you've done to make this gun shoot for you. Yeah. Well, this is actually uh, Para's new Pro Custom 1640. It's a 40 caliber double stack and it's tricked out uh, ready to race, but it, it's, it, brings a, it brings a good point that the 1911 is extremely customizable. You can do things to these that you can't do to a polymer gun. Number one is the length of the trigger. You can put sh uh, shorter trigger pads, longer trigger pads in there. Mm -hmm. It's very important uh, for your accuracy that your finger falls on the right place on the trigger. Okay. So if a trigger is too long for you and you can't get it to that right place, uh, then the 1911 allows you to use uh, either a shorter or a longer trigger. Uh, some other things that are very nice on the grip, you have a mainspring housing that this whole part comes out and you can put in an arch, you can put in a flat, um, it can be checkered, it can be flat, so it can, it's customizable to your grip. So you can customize the trigger, the grip, the safety, obviously mm -hmm. sights and, and other things. Um, right. why don't, what I'd like to do is, since this is your race gun, have you shoot it on target, maybe shoot it to, to empty, do a mag change and shoot it again and just kind of show people what this gun can do in, in, a, in a race function like this. Okay, that'd be great. All right, let's do All it. Right. So, okay, why don't you go ahead and load up and we'll do uh, six shots and reload and six shots and kind of show people what a 1911 can do. Sounds great. Shooter sure ready? Six shots, a reload in six shots, 3.71 seconds. It could have been faster, Ryan. <laughs> you guys always say that. <laughs> so, but it, you know, it shows what a 1911 can do. It's, it, that gun is obviously customized for you. It's your competition gun, but that's the whole point. A 1911 is customizable, and then a great trigger helps you, helps you shoot like that. Absolutely. It's really proof positive, that trigger, with the light, smooth aspect, and also that, that great reset. It's tough to beat. So if you're looking for something different, you've bought several pistols, think about a 1911 as your next gun, I think you're going to like it.